We will now perform a torque, leak and burst test on the pressure vessel. Every time a cylinder valve is installed or removed from the cylinder boss or bung, the boss is stressed by a torque wrench. The ISO 1111 9-3 standard requires the installed cylinder valve to be tightened to a torque which is 150% of the installation torque recommended by the manufacturer. Our maximum recommended installation torque is 120 newton meter. It is thereby ensured that the welding of the boss has sufficient excess strength to withstand the abnormal over-torque situation should that occur. After reaching the test torque of 180 newton meter, the valve is unscrewed. The boss threads are then visually inspected and must not show any damage. The valve is then reinstalled and tightened again to the test torque of 180 newton meter. After reaching the valve installation test torque, the cylinder is pressurized to 20 bar, two thirds of the test pressure of 30 bar. This pressure must be sustained for two hours. Afterwards, we will perform a leak test using leak spray. The cylinder must not show a leak greater than one bubble in two minutes. As you can see, there are no leaks coming from the cylinder boss assembly. To further demonstrate the strength of the connection between the boss and the liner, we perform a burst test after the torque and leak test. The burst pressure is 162 bar meaning that the burst pressure of the vessel remains unchanged even after being subjected to an excess valve installation torque. We have added the burst test to further challenge and prove the superior durability of our cylinders. Even when excess torque is applied to the valve and the boss connection, the burst strength and the leak tightness of the cylinder remains unchanged.